This is going to be a short tutorial on how to replace the display in your T440S. Um, I ordered this new panel from LaptopScreen.com and it just came in in the mail today. So let's crack her open. I know that the first thing we need to do, and I'm pretty sure we don't need to undo the whole chassis to replace the screen, is take a knife and very, very carefully, because this entire bezel is actually a sticker. So you need to very, very carefully come and at one of the edges, and you just need to slip the knife very gently underneath that sticker until you've got a corner, and then you can start pulling the sticker up. And you want to gently work the sticker loose because we obviously need to reuse said sticker if we want our laptop to remain pretty. As you can see, we've got the sticker about halfway off. Now you want to be careful not to touch the back side of the sticker because then it won't be able to adhere back onto this display after. All right, after the bezel has been taken off, you can just set this entire sticker thing aside and make sure it stays adhesive side up and away from dusty objects. The next thing we're going to do is take care of all of these little screws. These screws adhere the screen to the frame and we need to remove them to remove the screen. So after the four silver corner screws have been removed from here, you can simply snap away this front bezel just by putting your nail in between the bezel and the, well, there's a rubber front to the, this whole system. So you need to use either a guitar pick or a nail to separate those two halves. As soon as my camera focuses, I'll just separate a little bit more of this. You can just kind of gently, very gently pull and you'll hear some snaps. And that is the sound of these little clasps coming undone. All right, with that done, you can simply lift the bezel forward and out. So you have this plastic square thing and you can put that somewhere else. <laughs> and this is what we're left with. This is probably the most important step. At, the, at this bottom edge here, behind the display, there's a ribbon cable that connects the display right about here. And as we can see on our new panel, this is the connector that we're looking for. So on this display, it's going to be roughly here. So what we need to do is we need to gently allow this panel to fall forward. And there's a bit of adhesive behind it, ensuring that we don't break that ribbon cable or mess with it in any way. Well, it's not quite a ribbon. And then very carefully, we need to disconnect that. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take your knife and you're going to need, need to make a tiny cut in the tape without touching the circuit board. Here, here, to here. Just around this component uh, on the clear part of the tape. And then you'll be able to gently pull back. And voila, your connector is free. I've just gently placed my new display down on top of my keyboard. The 30 pin cable is up here, ready to be connected to the new display. And after we do that, we should be able to flip this display back up into the chassis, secure the four screws at the corners, put the old bezel cover and sticker back on, and we'll be good to go. As this is a relatively delicate procedure, I'm going to connect this with the camera down. And just like that, we're connected. 
so I've flipped the display back up into the chassis. Let's just confirm that everything works before we start reassembling everything. Mm. Wow. Looks good to me. Though that's funny, I hope that's part of the sticker and not part of the display itself. It looks like it is part of the sticker. So we'll just wait for the boot process to finish and make sure. Yeah, it looks like my operating system can use the display properly. Sweet. Well, that's that. I'll start putting everything back together. We just place that little bezel piece back onto the display and we just press gently along the edges to snap everything back into place. So next we throw all the corner screws back in. And last step is the sticker. Oh, feels good. Look at that. Wow, and just like that, you've got a brand new, fantastic 1080p display in your ThinkPad T440S. So, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you like the repair video. I'm happy to report after fiddling with these display for a little bit, assuming my camera will focus on it properly. Uh, contrast levels are great. I'm very happy with it. I can't see any dead pixels or miscolored pixels. Um, great display. 10 out of 10. Would, would, would buy again. Also, shout out to Lenovo for continuing to make repairable ThinkPads. This is a T440S, so it's a little dated, but uh, please keep making them this easy to repair because it's lovely.